Hi everyone, I'm in the pack up stage to take off on the trip. So it's the setup day today. I've uh, recently purchased the Rhino racks and the Chula storage box. So this is all new to me. So I used to have soft racks on here before carrying uh, some of my tent gear. So what I've got is this awesome box here and the space here to put my RV3 tent. But I'm going to do a camping holiday trip and uh, this is one I've never done before. I want to be off grid a bit. So I want to be able to securely sleep in my car on times of, that I need to. I've got my a dusk car awning that'll go over the top here and I'm taking my RV3 <coughs> excuse me tent so what I'm trying to do here today is be able to set up so I've got a bed here so that if I need to pull over I can crash and not have anything on here um, I want to be able to put my companion 45 litre fridge in here so I've measured that out haven't got it yet but it's a new purchase and believe that will be going in here so I want to be able to, I've got an old Clark rubber mattress here, single size, and I'm, my um, goal today is to, to cut the mattress so that it fits into this section here and maybe even in, fold up a little bit there so that I can get a uh, comfortable sleeping distance. So perhaps me sleeping here. Jackal's there if he's not on the front seat. So I've never done this before. Wish me luck. <laughs> uh, I'm traveling in a Kia Cerrado and uh, you know it's only a medium to small size car but my idea and thought is and it's never stopped me before is to be able to do everything that I want and utilize and get crafty with this. Um, I haven't thought about an upgrade because I really like the height of my car for putting kayaks and stuff on and now I've solved the problem with uh, up more storage and being able to travel more securely as a single solo traveller. I know then that a lot of stuff that I would have in my car in eyes view can now be up in the Chula box. So I'm pretty excited about that but that's all, it's all trial and error because this is a uh, a new equipment for me so at the moment I've got some things stored up in there but it's all trial and error I'm really lucky that my porta potty has been able to fit in the height dimensions there without having to pull it apart so that sits at the highest point of the chorley here now this box is just awesome it can be all locked up it's all secure it's uh, mostly waterproof it'd be very rare that you'd get something in and dust uh, but this trip is going to be the test so wish me luck and I'm going to now try and cut this piece of foam so that it will fit in there and then this will be easy access here to get into my companion 45 litre fridge so I, I do need the distance of 69 centimetres here and lid lifting capacity so that's my plan today I've got bits and bobs everywhere and uh, let's see if I can do this. I'm only using a cutting stencil and a board. So I'm going to see if I can do this on my own to get the measurements right. Or else I'm off to Clark Rubber to get it uh, cut professionally. I'm trying out a piece of grass matting here while I'm traveling. Because I've um, seen in another video of a guy that travels around and he uses it. And it really collects the dirt and the sand. And it's really comfy to put your feet on and grab. So um, just underneath that, I've got my tool, tool belt that I've done a video on. So that just sort of tucks away um, there and won't be in the way of my feet. So when I get into camp, I can quickly grab that and set up easy. So everything's got a place. So today's really about setting... Uh, practical spots in the car so that I can live in it for a few weeks and uh, have a home for everything in little cracks and crudies of the car. I found this air lounge that I brought from Audi oh, probably a couple of years ago. Has anyone got one of these? I uh, haven't used it for years but I am just pulled it out because I'm setting up everything and I thought oh, maybe this would be quite a handy little bag to take for a little beach lay around or a camp lay around so uh, let me know in the comments if you've got one and had any success and any tips 
So the plan is, I've got this uh, thin piece of ply here, and that is just going to slide up to here, giving uh, the mattress a bit of flatness and headspace there. And all the, everything, things will be packed under there, but be able to slide that out. So I need to cut this mattress and sort of shape it to get it up in there, and at least so I know I can sleep this side. And if the bits that I cut off, I'll slip in here for a jackal. So I've placed the mattress in to get a good fit and measured between here and here, cut down there, and then I'll measure along here and cut down there. So, oh my God, if I mess this up, I mess it up. But um, then I'll pack all this in. I'm hoping the bit that I'll cut off here will slip in here. Okay, so I've measured the distance here. So the idea is to take this chunk out and place that on the other side there and hopefully that fits. If I stuff this up, there's no turning back. So what I've got is two pieces of ply here. This one will slide up underneath that and that is packed up there and that gives me uh, a flat bed. And then my idea is to pack that up to the level and then store... Um, tables and stuff here underneath when I'm driving okay so it hasn't cut uh, too bad uh, considering I'm just using um, my craft tool here obviously you can go and get this cut professionally but I'm on a mission and I'm saving money and I'm gonna be determined to do it myself so so far so good that's the piece that I've cut off Okay, well I've put the mattress in, see how it goes. Nice and flat now, fits fine there. And seems to work well on this corner there, giving me more space up by the head. So what I'll do here is just cut a thin piece off here so it's snug up against the door. Okay, let me slide this in and see how it works. Okay, well it looks alright, so I'm just going to cut a little bit off this corner here and then cut this piece here that will fit in just perfectly there and cut that off and I can actually just use that little piece there as a filler somewhere. Well of course it's nothing like testing it out make sure that it's good. I've got lots of extra arm here. I'm not a big mover in my sleep so um, this will uh, keep me comfortable. Mr Jackal's there. So all in all I'm glad I just didn't stuff it up and it's gone okay. What do you think? Have you done sort of a setup like this in your small to medium sized car? Let us know. Give us some tips. Let's all share and uh, I'd love to see what you've done or hear about what you've done okay so it's kind of worked out pretty perfect I've uh, stacked everything up so I've made sure it's very solid and uh, flat and straight and I've put a camp table kitchen table under that to utilize and then I've cut that extra piece there where I can put jackal on there um, and I'm just going to use a two pillowcases one end at that end because it's longer and just double it over into there okay so I'm getting there okay so I guess now I've made a little camping bed for jackals that I could utilize too by pulling out and uh, putting somewhere for him so that all tucked in there like that I think it's gonna be really good I mean the piece that's cut out is in the leg area and that's not going to bother me the important thing was having a place for the new companion portable car fridge so that will be able to be there hopefully not too noisy it's all going to be trial and error um, I will have the RV3 tent with me so I can hop out of that when I'm in a hop out of the car if I want to so it's just making sure that I've got set up 
as comfortable as I can to keep the road and then to know that things are flexible. Like I said, I'm going to have my tent on here because it's going to take no extra space. Having it tied up here, there's a lot of space to do that and that'll be tied on with Rhino Rack lockable straps so that I can feel a lot more secure and safe and not worry that it's easy for someone to cut off. If you've liked this video, if you've liked this video, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate your support. And if you'd be interested in following more of my journey, I'd love to see you there. Be great to support some of our Aussie YouTubers. There's a lot of American stuff out there. And, you know, I'm cheering for us Australian YouTubers so that our Australian ladies have got some more Aussie women to uh, watch instead of it all being American stuff. We have things slightly different. So anyway, I appreciate you being here. Thanks for joining me and I uh, hope you'll stick around for the next part of my journey. Bed's all set up. I've got my mattress, a protector underneath that, my Coleman sleeping bag and then a nice blanket on the top and then my pillow and a good idea too is to double up on your pillowcases too so that you can always whip one off and you've got a spare one there. Even a good idea to put your spare uh, blanket or uh, towel or something like that that you want to keep and put that in the pillowcase of your pillow when you're travelling. So I've got the two on there so in case I want to wash one or who knows pillowcases are awesome you can use them for bags you never know when you're on the road or camping what you might need it for. So I've got this gorgeous sort of nice soft one. Yay! Happy with that. That's a project one step closer to um, getting ready. I'm so excited. For now I've just got my uh, solar panel here which I'll sleep on the, sit it on the top here. And... Um, that's always easy to reach and you always want to grab that out and get your solar on whenever you can. Or if I'm parked up somewhere, it's going to have to slide up underneath the car. So, all trial and error. 